In this video, I want to show you a cool um, recording device option that we've got in the studio that you are free to use as a student. Um, so this is the thing, it's called uh, the FirePod. Um, it's basically just a microphone input for the computer. Um, I'm going to turn it off and unplug it so I can bring it up and show you. So uh, I want to kind of show you uh, what this has and then, and then we'll look at how it works and how you can do some recording in Adobe Audition with it. So um, basically what this has is just eight different microphone inputs and you can, um, you can either input with a uh, quarter inch cable like this. So if you're going to plug in like an acoustic guitar or a, a bass, you can plug it in. And then those same jacks will also take an XLR cable, which is just a microphone cable. The next thing we have here is um, each of these inputs has its own individual uh, gain settings. That's just the, the power coming in from the microphone, so you can adjust those uh, to make it as, as high as possible or as high as it needs to be without ever um, going over or peaking. You've got your uh, headphones jack here. And then um, this one right here is your headphones level, so you can just turn that up or down. This is the um, main volume level, and you don't really need to mess with that a lot um, because this would be for the outputs in the back, and you're not going to use those very much here. And then this one is for mixing your, um, mixing your, well, adjusting your mix in your headphones. So um, if you turn it all the way this way, the only thing you would be hearing in your headphones is what's playing on the computer. If you turn it all the way this way, the only thing you'd hear on your uh, headphones is the input coming from the mic. So you can kind of adjust how, how much of the mic you want to hear and how much of the uh, sound from the computer you want to hear. On the back side, we've got all these outputs. Uh, those don't matter a lot for you. This is for if you're using this um, in more of an analog setting where you're going to have a bunch of outs. That's not what we're going to worry about here because we're just going to use this FirePod output or um, FireWire output to go straight into the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. I'm going to plug in this XLR mic cable and I'll plug the other end into this uh, Behringer microphone and we'll get that set up and ready to go. All right, the next thing I want to do is check uh, these two buttons over here. Uh, if you look close at it, it says 48 volts. This is the phantom power uh, button for tracks one through four and five through eight. So phantom power, if you don't know, is, is just a way for this device to send uh, power to the microphone. Um, and not all microphones need it, but some do, and this Behringer that I'm using does. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure those are on so that it's ready to roll. I would set up my headphones here, but then you wouldn't be able to hear it. So instead, I'm going to set up our external speakers into the headphone output so you can hear what's happening. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and launch Adobe Audition and get this set up. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. So the first thing I'm going to want to do here is set up a multi-track recording session. Um, I'll go ahead and set that file up. All right, now I've got everything set up here. Uh, so in order to use the FirePod, I've got to get it synced up to uh, Adobe Audition. So uh, the way I'm going to set that up is to go into my preferences. So under edit, jump down to preferences, and then we need to jump into audio hardware. Uh, looks like this one's already set up. A lot of times when you come in, it might look like this. Uh, it's just using the, the speakers, um, but what we're going to want to do, if it's not already set up like this, we're going to want to audio hardware. We're going to want to make it set uh, um, to the ASIO and then make sure it says FirePod here. And then if that's all set, then we're okay. We're good to, we're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a track and show you how to set up a track in Audition and show you how this works. So on my track here, let's just label this uh, random speaking. Uh, and then we need to set up the input. So right now, um, I've got the microphone plugged into input one on the FirePod. So I'm gonna click here, I want it to be a mono, 
uh, input and I'm going to get it from input one from the FirePod. So now you can see that that's set up and if I click the R button, theoretically, yep, right there I'm getting a little bit of sound from my microphone, but not a lot. So this is where I need to bring in my, uh, the gain setting on track number one. So as I turn this up, let's see if I turn it all the way up, uh, I'm getting a bunch of uh, clipping. You can see right here, that's bad. Anytime it clips, you are getting a nasty recording and it will sound very bad. So I don't want to turn that all the way up, obviously. So what I want to do is test this a few times at different levels to see kind of the, the peak of where I can go. So this is the, the basic level of my voice. And now if I, yep, I'm getting close to the top. And right there is where I've hit too much. So I'll pull it back just a little bit. I, I want it to be peaking up here kind of high so that uh, I'm getting a lot of sound volume from the microphone, but I want to make sure it never gets up to the red. So I'm set up now, and then all I need to do here is click record. Uh, hello, I'm recording my voice, and it sounds amazing. So I can come back and, and, and replay this. Uh, hello, I'm recording my voice, and it sounds amazing. I'll come back over to, imagine that this isn't coming out of my speakers here, instead it's coming out of your headphones. So I can change the mix here, and if I change it over to here so that it's only the input, uh, then when I speak through the microphone, you're going to hear the microphone through your speakers. Uh, but if I set it the other way, all the way over to here, I won't be able to hear the microphone at all, even though you can see it's got a signal there, but I will be able to hear this. Uh, hello, I'm recording my voice, and it sounds amazing. So when you're recording here, you'll want to uh, set that up so that the mix is right. If you're recording, say, uh, somebody singing along with a song, they'll want to hear the song, but they'll also want to hear themselves a little bit to make sure they're on pitch. So that's kind of how this works. And then let's say I want to yeah. then... Um, record multiple tracks here. So I'm gonna leave that one alone now. That one's good, it's amazing. I mean, super good. And then I'm gonna set this up, amazing number two. And then I'm gonna uh, go ahead and, and choose my input. I'm still inputting into number one. And then I'll hit record enable and everything's still good. So I, I can cl click down here and uh, do some recording. Bop, bop, uh, hello, bop, 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 bop. This is going to be the best song ever. Bop, bop, bop. Uh, hello, bop, 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 bop. This is going to be the best song ever. Bop, bop, bop. Uh, pretty amazing. So the real benefit uh, to using the FirePod here is um, the fact that you can plug in eight microphones or just multiple microphones at, at a time so you can uh, get a multi-track recording at the same time. Uh, so one use for that would be to record drums. You could set up five or six mics, uh, a microphone on each, a separate microphone on each drum, and get a really great recording sound. Um, or you could just, like I'm doing right now, use the one microphone, but then layer uh, one track after another after another. So I'm going to close this down really fast. And nope, I don't want to save any of that. And I'll just open up really fast a project that has been recorded on here using the FirePod so you can see kind of what it uh, looks like. All right, so you can see here we've got, uh, uh, we, we, we recorded a drum, so we got a kick and a snare and uh, two overhead mics and a floor tom. So we've got five microphones just on the drums. We've got an original guitar and scratch vocal that we would get rid of when we're done with everything. We've got some new guitar uh, recordings, several new guitar recordings. So when we jump in and play this, and then you can go in uh, track by track and just uh, change uh, the mix and make it sound awesome. All right, so let's say I want to add another guitar track to this project that we already started. I can come down here to track 12, new guitar, and I'm going to assign this to input 2 because I've plugged my guitar into input 2. So I'm going to record enable this one. 
And then I need to set my level. Oh, I'm peeking there, that's too much. That looks pretty good. So then what I can do is uh, set this up so I can hear So I can hear what's uh, being recorded as well as what I'm recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay that down. Okay, so let's say I make a dumb mistake like that. That obviously sounds like crap. So one cool thing that you can do here is um, you can record over this bit uh, without losing it. So let's say that I know I need to jump back in right there. That's where I messed up. So I'm going to just start recording and then start playing as soon as I can pick it up and then we'll edit it. So then what I can do is come in here and see those things are still there. Uh, I can come in and zoom in on the spot that I messed up on right here. I'm just going to get rid of that. And then right here I can bring it into where I started playing. You can see those kind of match up and so I will just crossfade those into each other and it sounds like this. And then that way you can come right in in the middle and uh, fix a mistake you've made. Uh, so what we're getting at here is that uh, we would love to see students come in and use uh, the FirePod to uh, do some music recording or some vocal recording. Um, if all you're doing is just recording a voiceover for a video or something, uh, this is probably overkill. But if you've got something that needs multiple tracks or especially if you've got something that needs to record multiple mics at the same time, then this is the thing to use.